Okay, so let's see how to change the front brake pads and the rotors from this Mercedes E-Class. Next, let's turn the steering wheel all the way to the left so we can get access to the caliper. Now, if you have a closer look, you can identify the brake level sensor. You've got the main brake fluid input line down there. It's connected the ABS sensor or the wheel speed sensor. If you have a closer look on the caliper, you can see these two rubber bushings, which protects the bolt which you have to remove in order to take out only the caliper and not the bracket. You need a T45, which can fit perfectly in here to open these bolts. It's a good idea to apply some pressure towards that direction, so the bolt won't round up. push a little bit the brake pads in okay. now the caliper comes out and the brake pads as well lean the weight of the caliper on the cord so let's see use a 18 millimeter with a breaker bar let's see the bolt is loosened now let's complete it with a regular ratchet. And here it comes. With a T5 let's remove this bolt which holds the rotor on the wheel hub. And luckily the rotor comes out easy. Okay, so now let's remove this second brake pad. Right there is the sensor. You can pull it out. Once you begin to brake on the level of the sensor, you get the warning light on your dashboard and here are the brake pads which are not bad now before installing the new rotor on make sure that you clean very well this hub especially if the previous rotor was stuck just give it a nice clean and put some lubrication here like copper paste or something like that make sure that you find the hole for that small five millimeter hex make sure that it spins freely and this dust shield is not touching on it one of the mistakes some people do is to put copper paste on the back of the brake pads because you do not need any lubrication between the piston and the brake pad since there is no much friction this thing is just being pushed in now let's torque these bolts to 70 foot pounds you need to press this piston in in order to fit the new brake pads the best is to have the special tool, but if you use one of these adjustable pliers like that, you can still press on that piston. Now you can put the brake pads and slide the caliper on the rotor. Get these special bolts with the T45 and tighten them in. Let's see the second one. Now let's put the safety wire on as well. and the brakes are ready to go okay guys that was pretty much it thanks for watching go ahead and check out the other videos i made about this car if you have this mercedes e-class with a diesel engine i've got a lot more interesting videos about that so until next time take care and i will see you in the next video